And we're gonna head back to Kronos. Or to Kronos, we've never been there before. I forget how long this game is. And now for a Vox Sports update. Dreadzone's Extermination of the Day Award goes to Shellshock for his 360 Tomahawk finishing move on Plutonium Jones. It was a beauty, Dallas, and it marks Shellshock's third extermination of the season. At fourth, actually, the Omega Twins count as two. Good point. And we're now live with Shellshock for comments. Shellshock? <laughs> Those Omega Twins went down like wee little girly men. <laughs> yes, quite ironic, especially since they were actually teenage girls. <laughs> yeah, ironic. I'm supposed to sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, he is. <laughs> and now for a heartwarming story in entertainment news. Courtney Gears has made a remarkable recovery. What? After a near-death experience last year when she was attacked by two psychotic fans. Ah, poor girl. You know, you just hate to see that kind of senseless violence. It's a cruel. Well, she was supporting Dr. Nefarious, so I kind of had to do something. <laughs> I'm sure we all would, Juanita. And you may just get your wish, because those very evildoers are about to come face to face with the mighty Shellshock. Catch it all live on Dread Zone. Oh, this is where you fight Shellshock? Oh, uh, he's one of the main bosses. Like, of the contestants you have to eliminate. Folks, we're live tonight from the planet of Kronos, where Commander Shellshock and his army have taken... I thought he going to say Commander Shepard. The cathedral is completely locked down. But I have found a weakness. Two giant spotlights lie dormant nearby. If you activate them, their beams will trigger a solar sensor on the temple and unlock the door. According to my nav grid, the spotlights are in separate sections of the city. Good luck, Ratchet. Fusion rifles are a good long-range weapon which can be zoomed in to accurately shoot enemies from far away. but I kind of want to upgrade my gun. Oh, I remember him. He is an annoying asshole. The guy with the giant foot. Your bots can also launch grind cable. Your bots can also launch grind cable. 
Jump onto the grind rail to traverse this gap. There we go. slows down like that. So hilarious. Introducing Shell Shock. Oh, don't, don't you have to Ladies face him like four times? For the one, the only, Shell the glitchy and laggy and jittery cutscenes. Time to die. God, you get this thing upgraded, you're gonna wreck how. So Shell Shock runs away like a pussy. That's basically the point. Team Dark Star must now traverse a grind rail suspended hundreds of feet above the water. Is that even safe? Of course it's not. This is Dread Zone, baby. <laughs> onto the grind rail to traverse this gap. That's the wrong way. You can switch rails by jumping towards a nearby rail. I want to cash. Why is this game lagging so much? Lagging whenever I have to move rails. 
Lousy programming. That's probably what it is. I don't even know what half of these skill points are that I'm getting. So. The action's heating up as Team Darkstar lights up the spotlights that will unlock the Dark Cathedral of Kronos. A treacherous path lies ahead as Dread Zone's deadliest warriors will be waiting to ambush them! Oh, baby, I love this job! Ratchet, there is a magnetic lift up ahead. It will take you up the road that leads to the next stadium. The game lags whenever you need to latch on to the thing. What the fuck? Once again. Once again, the programming. Ah, two for one. So cheap! I didn't have a, any sniper ammo. That's bullshit, dude. Hey, boss. I had no sniper rifle. That was unfair. Oh, I gotta save it now. Come on. asshole.
What the? There we go. Jeez, please. I had no ammo. <laughs> Shell shock returns. Whoever said getting into that cathedral was easy? I did? Well, that was then, and this is now, huh? Team Darkstar will have to fight their way through a series of increasingly deadly arenas, but they didn't see that coming. Initiate Annihilation Program! As you know, Shellshock's brain was destroyed by a cruise missile in the Obani Moon War. His brain was later replaced with a bouncer ammo. Machine. As a result, he is totally impervious to pain. And he makes a fantastic cappuccino. Shock eight. Jeez, they got a lot of skill points. <laughs> Team Dark Star is on the final stretch. This road leads right to the gates of the dark cathedral of Kronos, but it's chock full of twists, turns, and baddies that'll make you feel a week. Let's go to the action. Get to, I forget. Looks like this is our only option, sir. Whoa. I guess this is a bad time to mention that I'm afraid of heights. We need to get across that gap, sir. Permission to deploy a grind rail. Permission for the game to lag for no reason. Every time you jump on a grind rail, it fucks up. That's stupid. Shell Team Dark Star has made it inside the Dark Cathedral of Kronos. It's oh, it's dank, it's scary, it's just like my ex-wife. Take a good long last look at Team Dark Star, folks, because Shell Shock is about to punch them all over these cathedral walls. I call this one my dishonorable discharge. Did you know that Shell Shock was recently named the sexiest robot alive by Vox Magazine? Fucker. 